So we uh, are now watching Sally as Sally continues to weaken and pull into Georgia. And now we've got to this other tropical way that we're keeping a close eye on too here in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, winds with this around 35 miles an hour, barely moving again. It's nearly stationary, only at about three miles an hour off to the north. National Hurricane Center says it'll likely develop into a depression or a storm, probably some point today. Uh, maybe it becomes a depression today and then perhaps strengthens into a storm, a named storm, maybe by tomorrow. We'll have to see, but nearly stationary for the next couple of days. By the weekend, it should start to drift a little bit more off to the north and northeast. And so where's the storm going to go? Well, computer models definitely have their uh, ideas. And because it is going to be moving so slowly over the next five days, there's really not a lot of consensus right now with the uh, with the models. This particular model continues to drift it north through the weekend and notice as we head into early on Sunday morning. This is a European model and you can see it kind of tightens the pressure uh, around the other uh, storm a little bit and so maybe by this point it is a named storm and then once we get into early next week kind of takes it close to the western Gulf Coast. Beyond this point, though, this model kind of then drifts it more north and east toward the end of next week. So it's still too early to tell where this uh, this system will go, but we'll certainly be tracking it through the upcoming weekend. We are to the end of our named storms. Wilfred is the next in named storm. So uh, once that uh, that system does develop, it will likely become Wilfred. And then beyond that point, we're headed into the Greek alphabet. The only other time we've had to use the Greek alphabet was 15 years ago, 2005 hurricane season, and that was with Katrina. And that year we used six names out of the Greek alphabet. Locally, we are seeing improving conditions today. A little bit of blue sky out there. This is a live look from our alabaster sky cam at the uh, full moon barbecue. And you'll notice this is post tropical Sally now heading into Georgia. And you can see there are on the uh, visible satellite image more sunshine as you go further west. Uh, since East Alabama is a little bit closer to the center of circulation of Sally, uh, we could still see a couple of spotty showers, especially east of I-65 for today. Here's a look at the uh, close in shot WVTM 13 live Doppler and a huge temperature gradient too, where skies are pretty overcast in the east. We're cooler, but we're in the mid 80s there in Tuscaloosa. We'll go with some 80s this afternoon and again the chance for a couple of showers to develop today, especially east of Birmingham and then tomorrow partly sunny and 80 cold front comes through tomorrow. Look at those numbers over the weekend. We're in the 70s for highs and 50s for lows. Back to you. You've heard of the end.